Welcome to the Vancouver and Fraser Valley Real Estate Market Forecast for this October first week. We're going to give you an overview of the market changes, uh, an overview of world home prices, and we'll conclude with an interview with Tony Rossetti from North Vancouver. Okay, first of all, in the uh, lower mainland here, the Vancouver market uh, itself, the West End, is at a 12% sell-through. This is a dramatic increase in inventory. We're up from our 580 homes for sale in July uh, to 780, so we're up 200 uh, homes, and a lot of it just in the last few weeks. And the sales are a lot less, with only a 12% sell-through. And look at all the rest of these are doing pretty good here. We've actually ended up with an overall increase for the Vancouver area of 18%. Let's compare that to last week. Look, we were only 15% last week. All of these places have gone up, uh, with the exception of Vancouver itself, West End. Even Richmond, which was at 10% sell-through last week, it increased a few listings here, but it actually managed to pull itself up to 12%. So overall, a very, very good market from uh, East Vancouver, North Vancouver, right through to White Rock. And on the Fraser Valley side, we have uh, Maple Ridge uh, setting one of the lows here with only a 7% sell-through. Once again, increased inventory. And overall, the valley was stable at 11%, the same as they were last week, the last couple of weeks. So... Uh, we just saw Maple Ridge take a little bit of a hit there, and Langley came up pretty good from its 11%. Langley came right up to 18%. So in the valley, Langley set uh, set the golden child record here, and we're looking what we will call normal for the Fraser Valley at 11% sell through. Now let's quickly compare that off to something like July of this year, where we had much better numbers. And here we are in July. Everybody's much higher. Average sell-through is 23%. Here we've got places like Surrey at 20% sell-through, uh, Chilliwack at 16 for an average of 14% sell-through. So we're certainly not seeing our mid-July numbers before the S&P uh, downgraded the American credit and uh, the continuing economic woes out there with um, the European market, etc. Let's uh, complete the the market trends in uh, North Vancouver, Vancouver West Side. Excuse me. We have uh, a decrease, indicating there's a lot more inventory coming on for next month on the market trend index. North Vancouver also has a lot of new inventory coming. So does Richmond and Ladner, but East Vancouver, Burnaby, and Coquitlam. Even Surrey and White Rock all seem to have stable amount of inventory for the next month. So it should lead to a fairly stable market. Once again, here's Maple Ridge, but look, they've got an awful lot of extra inventory also coming on. So Maple Ridge is still looking like a case of complete oversupply. Now, you can find all these reports at VancouverMarketReports.com. And uh, I encourage you to go through all of these from various months. You'll see some absolutely most amazing uh, market changes as you go through all the different two-week periods. Now let's talk about the world price indexes. This has been a most interesting study. Uh, many people have said, well, China has gone through the roof on their inflation, and we hear a lot of reports on that. So we've done some homework here. First of all, Let's pick off a lot of the American cities. The average home price index from 205 for the United States for a 20 city index is at 72%. That's this dotted line here, US average number two. This means for a home that was worth, let's just say $500,000, that it has dropped a total of 28% from 2005. And here in England itself and their home price index for the country, they show that they're up 13% from 2005. China itself, 
with their home price index for 70 cities shows that they're up 48 percent from 100 percent in 2005. Now China by the way uh, we do not we're not doing single-family residential there their standard housing is an apartment condo. Out in Vancouver uh, our average home price index right here as of July it was 179 percent or 79 percent increase yet something like Richmond hit an all-world record at 217 percent increase so that prices have more than doubled since 205 and Burnaby is not far behind by the way do notice Las Vegas here is now down to 46 percent of their prices in 205 we've doubled they've dropped in half here's a quick peek from our our local area here with uh, from 208 June of 208 which was our peak market seeing how Richmond in blue here has recovered uh, within more or less a year and has continued on where someone like Calgary has dropped and continued to drop and is still down below like 20 percent over what they were in 208 and a place like Abbotsford here has uh, recovered not to the same amount we're down 13 percent overall from the 205 numbers uh, we haven't had the same recovery so and this is the Vancouver average here very interesting looking at how all of these cities compare now let's go find Tony Rossetti in the North Vancouver marketplace and see what his take is on this year's worth of activity Thank Tony Rossetti Hi, Tony. It's Bill Coffin here, uh, Remax the Local Realty, doing the interview. Are you ready to tell us all about the North Vancouver market? Absolutely, Bill. Good to have you on board. I think you're one of the icons in the industry. We're we're here because we trust your your opinion on the North Vancouver market. So, Tony, uh, back in February, uh, North Vancouver was the second, third highest sell-through rates in the whole the whole lower mainland. I mean, Richmond obviously was one of the stimuluses, but I think you've done some studies to show that um, that sort of West End, Carisdale area, Vancouver, uh, you're getting a large portion of their buyers coming into North Vancouver. Does that sound right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So I'm just looking at the numbers here. What North Van has had for the year is a 36% sell through, uh, 30, 24 no, excuse me, uh, 34, 33, boy, all in the 30s. This has been the most consistent city of all of the lower mainland. So right now in the last couple of weeks with the stock market fiasco here and the American debt thing, you've, you've settled down to what's called a normal market at 16% sell through. So is that sort of echo what you feel the market did this year? When did the, when did the tap turn on? Was it in the middle of January or the beginning of February? What what's what were your thoughts? Um, we 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 found it uh, as soon as January started that the market uh, activity picked up. So we've been busy since the beginning of the year. We were we were very surprised because we had a very sluggish fall market. Right. Right. Well, and and by the way, one of those stimuluses back there on the the Chinese buyer is mainland China put in two or three major rules last year um, that they put a I understand a fifteen percent tax in November, and then they declared they were going to to uh, thwart most of the speculators in China. So we saw a very large contingent of Chinese buyers starting to buy in West End Vancouver and Richmond in November, December, and January. So you were starting to see that benefit happen in January, right out of the gate, as those people are now moving to your area, right? And um, how much of uh, North Van, what, what is the uh, direct influence from the Asian buyers? What is your component there, do you feel? Uh, what percentage? Well, our, our direct sales to Asian buyers, Chinese buyers, has been fairly fairly small, but indirectly we've certainly been influenced. Indirectly where uh, homeowners in other parts of Vancouver, primarily the west side of Vancouver, 
have been selling to Asian buyers, and then some of those people relocating in the North Vancouver market. Right. So if they sell today, you will get them as buyers within the month, and so you know, the following, or you know, the, that's going to make you busy, right? I think you might have one of the largest out of province buyers. So. Uh, was it something like seven percent of of all the buyers in North Vancouver are actually out of out of province? Well, I, I can't uh, speculate for the entire market I, of the buyers that we worked with. Approximately seven percent were from out of out of out of the province. Wow, very interesting. The uh, the sales uh, peaked out. It seemed to be about one hundred and forty units for the month, and uh, back in May, and it's probably settled down close to half of that by now. And you've just had one of the best years, uh, I would say, in 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 recent memories. And um, let's just call it a. Would you say it? The operative word would be a stable market from now on. I mean, you've had a good run. I I wouldn't imagine you have the volatility of say somewhere like Burnaby, that anybody's going to reduce prices quickly, or it'll just be a stable market for the rest of the year. What are your thoughts? That that would be my thoughts as well. Yes, absolutely. Stability. We've still got extremely attractive interest rates, and that that will help st- stabilize the market as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you see any reason for any extra st- uh, stimulus in your area? I mean, are there any construction projects that are going to be coming on from now on that are not just completing, but any reason to have North Vancouver have any future stimulus that you're aware of? Um, nothing nothing specific i mean we have a lot of new construction primarily in the in the condo market so the condo market is somewhat softer than the rest of our market just because there's so much choice selection competition but uh in general no we we would just expect a a good steady market uh, from here on out okay very good well, I am um, going to thank you for your time, Tony. Now, listen, for anybody that wants an expert in the North Vancouver area, Tony has been uh, has been one of the absolute icons of the area, and you can get a hold of Tony at any time. Uh, Tony, what's a good contact number there? Good contact number is 604-983-2518. And they can find you on the web at? They can find Real Estate North Van realestatenorthvan.com and I'll put a link right here on the on this interview so you can just click through and uh, talk to Tony if you need any help in the North Vancouver area. We really look forward to uh, talking to you again for a further update. Uh, you guys have had a banner year. Congratulations on your good service and uh, love to see the word stability. I mean it was a pretty good run this year. Forward to talking to you next time. That's great Bill. Thank you so much. Well, once again, a great interview with another top agent in one of our 14 marketplaces. And we look forward to our updates every two weeks on the sell-through rates on the MTI. So be sure to check back to find out what's going in the marketplace. I'm Bill Coughlin. You can always catch me at bill at coughlinteam.com. Or phone me directly at 888-539-4664. That's 888-539-4664. Bye-bye for now.